Okay, so the last thing I want to do is run through my pack because uh get a lot of questions on that. And a lot of people are like, man, you, you carry a lot of stuff uh, to go not so far some days and a lot of stuff for like some small streams where you probably only need like a box of dry flies. And that's true. A lot of times I carry way more than I need, um, partially because I have a GoPro and I'm filming everything and I'll go through all that. Uh, but also because um, I don't I don't repack my stuff. Like this is how I ended up in one of my streams in Colorado without my bead head flies because uh, I got smart and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take this stuff out because I don't need it. So I learned a lesson a long time ago. And then as the trip went on, I kind of like learned it, relearned it. And so from now on, um, I just put it all in the backpack. It's This is bigger than what I need. I've tried the slings. I don't like them. I don't like the way they fit. So waist packs don't have enough room for the stuff I'm gonna carry. So I'm gonna just gonna start. We'll just walk through everything I'm carrying um, in my pack when I go fishing. So first thing, uh, if I'm going on a really long hike, like four or five miles, and I can't hike back to my car, I carry extra rod. Uh, a lot of your cases, like say you're going to carry like two four weights, you can get to take a five weight uh, case, and you can probably fit both of your four weights in to one one case. That way, you're not having to carry two. So extra rod. Uh, the great thing about the Orvis bug out thing is this has this little drop down right here, which is super awesome. Um, can't tell you how nice it is to be. You know, you're going under stuff and bushwhacking, and that thing is sticking up and it's hitting stuff. Um, it's pain. Uh, something to, to do water, right? You're going to filter your water out there. So this is my grill. I got it just for this trip. I had a Sawyer Mini and it was okay. This is about the same weight as this with water in it. So it's not light. Um, the good thing is though, is it's really sturdy, super durable. Uh, you need one thing and you have everything you need with you to filter your water, which you're going to have to have. I carry my net. Um, sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. Didn't, don't really need it in a brook trout stream a lot of times. Everything is carabinered on because I don't want to lose it. When I'm bushwhacking, like when I start my hike, I carry it here. When I get into the fishing, I just put it behind me. So it just goes between my backpack and my back like this. And I always do the net away so that this thing's not resting on my head like that, right? Hope that makes sense. It's not super complicated. Uh, another thing I got for this trip, like I said, I love this bag. Um, my favorite thing I've had. I got a spot. My wife um, and my friends appreciate knowing where I'm at a lot of times. Um, that's one of the things why I carry a backpack. Sometimes I'm going maybe two miles. Sometimes I'm going four or five miles. There's been days I've done 10 mile trips. I don't always know what I'm going to do. Like on a, I get a blue line on a, on a map and I just hike there. Uh, if the stream is really, really good and then it has spots where it's bad, I'll just keep going. So there have been days where I thought, Hey, I'm going to fish two miles of a stream. And then I've ended up going two miles further than what I thought. It's nice to have all the stuff you're going to have with you on those trips because you never know especially for me, like I just show up at a blue line. Like a lot of my trips out here, never seen, don't know anybody that's ever fished them. Uh, there's nothing on the internet. I just go and I fish it and what I find is what I find. So I like to have some extra stuff and that's just part of probably my military background where I'm, I want to be I want to be sure that I'm able to take care of myself when I get out there. So I carry more than what I need. That way, if I, if, you know, the worst thing that ever happened is if you're at somewhere and you need something, you don't have it. Um, You like need your bear spray and you're like, oh, I didn't think I was going to need it today. So you left it. I mean, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So. Uh, let's start off with the front pocket. So I carry, that's just some streamer line. I get some extra leader material here, seven and a half at three X. Um, I think I have another pack somewhere else in here, but the most important thing in here that I carry is I carry some sunscreen. You can obviously, if you want smaller ones, get smaller ones. You don't have to be this. This is just what I have. I don't like to buy new stuff just for, I carry bug spray. Both of those are really important for me. Um, some extra food, lightweight stuff that has calories and whatnot. And I haven't looked through this. I didn't prep this beforehand. There's another liter, 9.2x. This is between my four weight and my three weight. So I carry liters for each. That way, it doesn't matter what rods I have. Um, my four weight, my three weight, I've got, I've got, I'm covered. Uh, just some high float. I'm not even sure how I got in there, but you know, sometimes your line starts to sink a little bit and you add a little bit to it. So that's that pocket. Let's go to the top pocket. Like I said, this, this pocket has a ton of stuff. Uh, this is my rod from the day I broke down. i my reel, I mean. Goes my four weight. Um, this is my trash. This is my lunch from today. Brought that back with me. Got some more, uh, yep, some more leader material. I carry, you know, like protein bars and snacks, things like that. Um, this is actually supposed to be my reel case for my three weight, but um, it's put together inside the truck. So this is uh, what I would use for my three weight. I don't really have a dedicated real case for it. I carry paracord. You never know what you're gonna need it for. Um, 
shoelaces. My Orbis before those boots blew out, which I am so ready to move back uh, or to get home and, and buy it because these hiking boots have the, they just do not have good traction. I slipped and fell and just, I was not, just didn't have comfortable uh, footing. Um, extra rounds, probably something you probably don't need. More trash. Like I said, I've been fishing out of this for almost eight weeks. More granola bars. Okay, so that's that pocket. Like I said, there's not like a ton of stuff in here. Um, but the good thing is, is like I said, this bag is awesome. You have tons of storage. You have key holder, zipper pockets. You can open this up if you want to get inside this other pack. Um, I have my nippers. They go there. I keep my spot attached to that. That way, when I'm starting, I need to check on my wife. I can just hit that button real fast, carry it right there on that front pouch, and I can walk, and I can look down and see when that, th when that, mess when that uh, text message has gone out. And I apologize if I'm talking too fast. Like I've said a hundred other times, it's just who I am. I talk fast. Um, I walk fast. <laughs> uh, I fish fast. So here's the stuff that you guys probably want to know about. These are extra batteries. Uh, SD cards. This is my wallet. Um, some other stuff for GoPro, like little, you know, things like thumb screws or whatnot. Stuff you probably don't need. So we'll put that over there. You probably don't need that. I carry way more dry flies and foam flies than anyone could ever possibly to need. Um, like I said, I have another box of really giant ones. Um, these are, I've shown some of these already. Those are, I tied a bunch of them before the trip. I kept them with me. Really important that I, carry, that I almost needed this trip and it had not been within like sight of my truck um, when I fell and hit my shin. And you can see it's doing better, but it's not great. Uh, that was a trip that had I not been paying attention or maybe just a lot of luck, I could have probably should have ended up in the ER. Like that tree branch hit me here. My arms weren't long enough to reach the tree. It was just dumb luck that it hit the GoPro. So I've shown you guys that video, showed you how it cracked my, my the hat. Um, so anyway, first aid, I carry alcohol in um, just a little water bottle, some aspirin, some more paracord, something to make fire, and you know, just basic first aid stuff to, to treat yourself if you got there. Cause it's, you know, I fall all the time and it's just really a matter of time before I, you know, I got lucky with the, the shin, like, truly got lucky with that so i also carry a like a meal i've gone to like a these granola because they don't need hot water so it's 520 calories if you need a meal when you're out there you get like you get stranded or you get lost and you need some food for the night um you can always do fish but if you want something else um or you just need some calories man that's 520 calories doesn't require any heated water or anything you just throw some cold water in there and yeah and you have food pretty cool uh, the other thing I carry and that you don't need, these are external hard drives. I've done all my stuff. I carry my laptop and two hard, hard drives inside my truck. I keep them down low, keep out of the heat, but I was afraid. I didn't really know what was going to happen. Um, and everything that's in this truck right now is replaceable except for the footage. And like I said before, YouTube is kind of my own fishing journal. Um, so I don't want to lose that. Like I have, like, I can remember some of this, but honestly, like I have a hard time remember I camped three nights ago. So it's nice to have the the footage and all i did was take some foam and i just kind of sandwiched them in there um so far so good these are the ones i keep with me because if anything happens to the truck it blows up and gets stolen um it gets too hot in the truck and all my stuff just melts i still have all my footage that's important to me so hard drives and the last thing i have like i said i don't carry a ton of stuff is a rain jacket so promise you if you don't have a rain jacket you will need a rain jacket it's like it never fails like i don't bring my rain jacket and it starts raining so i carry it with me all said and done with all that on there this pack weighs just over 15 pounds probably less than 20 um and you're talking about net extra ride water uh all that stuff so that's it right there that's what i have in the backpack um and then i carry this is the front pouch. Uh, the reason why I got this pack is because uh, a traditional backpack, I used to use it all the time, like an Ozark Trail one. But anytime I needed flies, and you just, you know, you keep them in your pocket or whatever, but when you're wet waiting, you're, you get knee deep and then your flies are getting wet. So I wanted something high, but I didn't want to always have to go back in my backpack and grab. So I got this. Uh, it comes with the little straps going on, so you can just wear it normally like this, and you have your tippet and stuff there with you. Uh, but 
It also has the straps that connects to the backpack so you can wear your backpack, carry all that stuff in there that you never really have to get into except for maybe lunch um, and water. And then all your flies and everything in here. So I have, like I said, I'll crack that open. You can look at it. It's not super special or... Again, way more flies than anyone could possibly ever need. But this is my 4X tippet that I've been, I've been tying all my droppers with. Um, the really great thing about this is I can carry my carry some shot on that side and I can carry some I apologize for the shaky crazy camera angles it's just me I don't have a camera crew but I carry my float on that side so whatever I need is basically on my backpack and I can just reach down. So I need to apply floating. I just go in that pocket. I need some split shot. I can go in here. But also, like I said, I've been using a lot of number four split shot. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is what I've been using. It's just the egg shot, Dinsmore, number four. Pretty much all I've been using for all of my dry dropper. Um, anytime I'm trying to get down a little bit quicker, especially in the faster turbulent wire, um, the pocket wire that's got a lot of turbulent stuff in it and you're trying to get down quick that's what i've been throwing on number four it's been working for me and yeah probably more tip than anybody could ever use uh between four or five um i rebuild my leaders with two and three a lot and sometimes one x but like i said it's better to have the stuff and not need it than need it and not have it and um i went fishing for seven weeks i didn't go or almost eight weeks i haven't visited a fly shop one time um i bought four tubes of floating enough flies and materials to tie what I needed, uh, split sh or, uh, leader material, um, tip of material uh, to redo everything, and I bought enough leader, um, just, uh, you know, the nylon knotless tapered leaders. I bought enough of those that I need to go in. So the only stores I visited were beverages and groceries, um, and then I hit the laundry one once um, to do some laundry halfway between. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got. You guys had questions about the pack. That is it. Uh, the only thing I change out is if I'm doing like a, I know for sure I'm going to go on a short trip like yesterday. I knew it wasn't going to be a long trip. I didn't take an extra ride. I took my three weight. I figured if I broke it, uh, I'd go home and drink a beer and sob over having to replace a three weight. Um, it wasn't worth carrying an extra three weight um, for broke shop. So I wasn't going to kill myself for that. Um, but if I was going six or seven miles in for cutthroat, absolutely. So anyway, if you got any more questions, throw those down there. Hopefully I covered everything. I know I have a tendency. This is not staged or planned. Just opened it up and went through it, so I might have missed something. So if you got questions, throw those down below. I'll make sure I get to them. Um, that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap up this entire series. So we'll get another one going. I can't wait to get home and get this video like and all the other ones out there on YouTube for you guys. But uh, I'm already excited for the next trip. Like I love the camper. Um, it's working for me. I think, uh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm so, so pumped for the. Thanks for watching the video, guys.